Okay, so um, it's been a while since I posted a video on uh, YouTube, but uh, what happened is, is I had this can of uh, Pyrodex. Um, I've had it now for <laughs> well over 20 years. I shot it once and I never shot it again, and it's been sitting in my cabinet here for at least that long, 20 years, maybe even longer. But anyway, um, I've gotten to think about it and I figured I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to be doing today, by the way, this is a black powder equivalent uh, type powder, uh, other than the normal black powder that I use when I'm shooting my uh, muzzle loaders, um, I use, uh, you know, original uh, true black powder and this is a black powder equivalent. So for those of you that don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is um, reloading some uh, shot shells, and I'll show you how I go about doing that uh, for uh, black powder loads. I've got a side-by-side 12-gauge -side uh, shotgun that I intend to uh, use these holes in these uh, shells for. So um, I've got probably about 100 of them that I've collected um, from the gun range, and I'll show you how I go about... Uh, reloading these with without a press or a reloading machine so stand by we'll get started in a second okay so here's my uh reloading uh equipment and basically it just pretty much consists of a uh, cylindrical uh tube this here is a three-quarter inch piece of uh galvanized pipe i've got a uh a dowel or a uh, you know round piece of wood I've got a uh, little uh, flat piece of um, wood here that's been uh, uh, shaped out so that I can uh, put a shell in there and it's got a hole in the middle for the primer to go through and then I've got a, a nail it's actually a large uh, deck screw that I ground off the threads for and then I got a flat piece of metal here uh, to help as I'm uh, reloading the shell. So that's pretty much all I need uh, to get this thing going. Uh, you also need to get a, a mallet or a hammer of some sort. But um, I'll show you how this stuff works uh, right now. Okay, so we're back. Um, first off, the first thing you gotta do is uh, deprime, deprime the shell. Uh, these were once fired uh, shells and uh, in order to put a new primer in there you got to take the old one out sorry about that noise out there um, close the door so you won't hear so much noise but anyway you got to take the uh, primer out so basically what I do with that I take this block it's been hollowed out <coughs> and a hole drilled clean through it uh, for the shell to fit uh, right over that little hole and then what I do is I take this, uh, get a nail or something, put it right uh, in the primer. And um, get a hammer, tap it right out. Primer comes out. You can see that the uh, shell is now deprimed. Now what I got to do is... Uh, since I don't have a crimping machine or a crimping press, I can't recrimp this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off that crimped area there, so I'll have a flat uh, surface here uh, to uh, to work with. And to uh, cut off this uh, flat area around here is uh, I just have this uh, piece of three-quarter inch pipe. And uh, I'm just going to use that as a guide to cut away uh, the unneeded uh, parts of this hull. And to do uh, that, all I did is I took a razor blade. This is a shell that I had already done. And uh, cut along the top of the shell. <clears throat> um, so it could be, uh, you know, that, that size. Because you don't really need all two and three quarter inches of the... Uh, of the uh, shell um, I didn't really measure this I just cut off what uh, where that crimp was it's probably about two and a half inches or so um, but anyway um, <clears throat> I just eyeballed it and uh, cut it out so now you have a uh, flat uh, surface here 
and now the shell is ready to uh, be reloaded. Okay, so the first thing you got to do uh, when you're reloading a shot shell is to reprime where the priming uh, hole is here. You got to put a new primer in. And uh, these are just regular shotgun primers. And um, I've got the uh, one of the uh, primers right here. And basically it just goes right in. Sometimes you can press them in with your th with your thumb, but uh, that's what this uh, dowel is for. You put it in, get the dowel, and you just get the hammer, and it knocks the primer in. And uh, this one needs to be done just a little bit more. You can see there the primer is in now. So this shell. Theoretically, well, it's not all it, it's live, but it's not loaded yet. But uh, you now have a live primer in the shell. Now we're ready to put in the powder, and basically, what I use for a black powder load this is for a 12 gauge. And what I'll do is uh, this is just a regular uh, volume uh, measurement that gives you the grains in powder. And what I typically do with this one, I just kind of match what the uh, dram equivalent is uh, on on like a regular box of uh, ammo and I try to uh, match that so in this case I'm gonna put uh, uh, what equals out to 82 grains of uh, of uh, black powder or this pyrodex which comes out to about two and three quarter drams I'm not sure exactly how many drams it is but this is not a reloading video so don't don't <laughs> Don't take my word for uh, what's safe for your gun, but this is what I normally do. So what I'll do in here is I'll put in 82 grains of this uh, Pyrodex powder. Comes with a little funnel here. And I'll just pour that right into the shell. Okay, powder's in there. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, put in a uh, over powder wad. Again, these are for 12 gauge shells. I'll put this uh, cap back on here just to keep the, uh, the hull from deforming as I drive this thing through. But um, we've got an overpowder wad. Sorry about that, it was a little bit tight fit. I didn't want you guys to have to watch me try to finagle this thing back in here. But anyway, I've got the uh, overpowder wad in here and um, just drive it down with your wooden dowel right over the powder. You want this stuff sitting right on top of the powder. You can see that it's in there now. Now what's next is the uh, cushion wad. Um, this helps uh, keeping the shot from being deformed and it is like a cushion there to uh, help the load after you shoot the gun. This one's a little tight too. But anyway, then you get your dowel. Put that right up on top of the over powder wad. You can see that it's uh, in there. Next up is the shot. I just dip my uh, powder measure uh, in the shot. This is about one and an eighth ounce uh, worth of shot. And I'll pour that uh, right into the, uh, right into the shell. And then what I'll do, I'll get an over powder wad or over, over the shot wad. It's just a thinner piece of cardboard here. And I'll put it right up on top. Pound that home.
you just have to tap it. You don't have to pound on it really hard. And here we go. We have a loaded uh, shotgun shell. Now what we have to do is seal this up so that this thing doesn't pop out of here on recoil because uh, there's going to be two uh, shells in the gun at least. And um, you want to have it there so that this cardboard uh, wad here doesn't fall out and all your shot and everything will come out. So I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so we're back and I'm just going to use this uh, 527 multi-use glue. A lot of people use wood glue or any other kind of glue, but I like using this because it has a sh the, the, the point on here and you can really uh, guide where you want it to go. And I'll just put some glue around the outside edges of that cardboard uh, wad there between that and the interior surface of the hull. And um, once it sets up, it'll it'll glue right in and uh, seal up that uh, seal up that shell. Like I said, most people use a uh, wood glue, and that's cool too. You know, I'm just using this because this is what I got right now. You can see there that the glue is in there. Now I'm just gonna wait for a little while for it to dry up, and uh, that should be it. So anyway, so that's how I load uh, black powder shells, and um, it's totally good to, to put inside of a gun and fire it. In fact, this is how they used to do them back in the day. Uh, but they used to use uh, brass shells. And there is a way to, to crimp this with a roll crimp, but I don't have the, a roll crimper. But uh, since this is just for fun and for target shooting, um, I'm just going to leave it like this and this will be fine. Uh, California, you can't use lead shot for hunting, so... If I want to load this for hunting, I'll have to use bismuth or some other non-toxic shot. But I have a whole bag of uh, number seven and a half uh, lead shot, so I'm going to load all these and use them for uh, shooting clay birds or something. Anyway, that's it for today. Cash Duke Bowcraft, thanks for watching.